I listened <laughs> to <laughs> the Drink Champs interview with Remy. And, and what to say? I enjoyed it. For one, I feel I am irritated by how a lot of the clips they release as like promo and stuff are the mm-hmm. ones where she's talking about female rappers. But I also feel like as a male led podcast, how they kept asking her about other female rappers, it's kind of like. And they're going to. You feel me? So it's like, you know, it kind of paints a bad picture because she talks about so many other things like her family and mm-hmm. like coming out, you know, her story. You feel me? But what's the juice? What's the tea? What's the toxicity? The one thing I did not like. Was that she said Doja's not a rapper. Yeah. She did give her accolades, which I appreciate. I don't care. But don't discredit Doja. Because you're not finna play with that Doja pen. is a dope-ass lyricist. Period. Y'all gotta remember that, like, what y'all see now is really a great evolution. But she started raw as fuck. I remember watching her on fucking Instagram, try, playing her piano, making beats, writing lyrics, and doing, like, playing in the music. Like, like stop She did playing. everything herself, you feel me? Y'all know her from Bitch, I'm a Cow. Right. I knew her from before Bitch, I'm a Cow. Like, it's the fact that there process. was Skylar's favorite song for a minute but like if Doja and even that she's she spent some shit like stop playing let me say something the best song my number one not even the best song but one of my because my kids know Amala and um hot side no hot pink beginning to end no skips but my favorite song by Doja is rules Mm, if you don't say she ain't spitting on the motherfucking verses, your ears need to be cleaned the fuck out. Pay my... mm. You feel me like? Yes, ma'am. She spit that whole motherfucking bitch, thing. Bitch, damn. What? Don't That's play my with me. Don't play. Okay. Listen, don't play with me. If Doja's not no. a rapper, Drake's not a rapper. Uh, that, so, so, at, so at the same time, would it be disrespectful to just if consider Drake's them musicians? Rapper, no. Gun would is it, not a rapper. Would it be okay to just consider them musicians instead of just putting them in this one category? A musician is better than being called a rapper. And, I, and that's I'm what I'm saying. saying so is, that would be Dr. better. It's true she's a me, musician. She's a musician. So I wouldn't even... She's an artist. I mean, Thank you. Right. It, 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 Rap, but she, she still would be considered a musician because she plays instruments. She, she, right. Exactly. But she... So, Knows how to rap. No, she's a rapper. So she's. I'm a not rapper. sure where they came from with with. Anybody Remy. who does that gonna make more money in their career. Period. You feel me? Yeah, because she, you touching the everything. Huh? Of it. Right. She touched that the writing Lizzo side. Lizzo should have. Lizzo need to go back to playing the fucking flute. Okay. Uh, listen. I mean, because <sighs> she's a rapper. Oh, Lizzo. I don't know what to consider Lizzo. I never Wait, was she supposed to be a rapper? She I a never rapper? knew what to consider I Lizzo. The other day said she, she an industry plant that uh, they wrote those songs for her. She probably does not play the flute, but they probably wrote those songs for her. So that's really because I'm trying to figure out that's really what I know her from, right? From playing the flute, she just she just did covers to songs as a flute, right? Wait, I can't even remember what the what the what the her original thing was. She was, she was a cover artist, like she didn't like and she didn't even sing. I fell in love with her when she challenged Ron Burgundy to a jazz flute off, and when I saw that, I was like, I yeah, love her she, for that. She's a great. Musician, she knows how to play yeah, an instrument. Saying that she had a personality behind her, and then she started rapping. I love so that name. song. I don't even know her song. Oh yeah, no, I don't really know her. Song. I know it when I hear it. Uh, yeah, so what is that considered? I love that song. But what is that considered? No, that's like pop. Yeah, this. Yeah, I would say that's more pop. What about rumors? All the rumors are true, yeah. I hate that song. It's still, that. it's giving, it's giving pop. It ain't R and B. It ain't rock. It ain't Christian. It ain't inspirational. Okay, so she's like a Katy Perry. Ooh, you know, yeah, exactly <laughs> that. That's where I put her. California your girls. Swift. Oh, speaking of Taylor Swift, oh, shit. but not speaking of Taylor Swift, I'm tired of these white women stealing awards from Beyonce. I like Billy and all, but bitch. Yeah, Beyonce, but bitch. Be, Beyonce ain't on be alive. Industry oh, God. Because why you got all these teenage kids depressed as fuck, Billy? They was already saying before she got here, uh-uh. No, 
Legit. They done wash their mama's. No. They done wash their mama get oxycontin for a she sprained wrist. Been building this very like cult, like emo cult like following. That's why you don't really hear much like on the future. Got a cult. That's I different because we very much acknowledge our um cult like obsession for Never future. Okay, the wizard. So don't the wizard don't disagree. Don't, stop that. You feel me? Don't disrespect the wizard. Don't you you feel me? That's like that's like you know going by the clock and seeing two seventeen and not saying bridge squad. You feel what me? You is, gotta, you, it's certain things as a black person, it's not really cult like, it's just appreciation. <laughs> it's, okay? It's called the culture. It's, you feel know I me? Mean? It's the it's culture. It's in us, not on us. It's the culture. I can't do nothing okay? about it. But Billy legit has, and I'm just saying, like the most normal, upbeat black girls. What? They listen to Billy. Um, the bitches um, is crying on TikTok. I love Billy. I like her music. As but a my head woman. was underwater. I'm a grown woman. I feel like that's another industry plan. That These kids is, is sad, Alicia. Is scientifically made. Why are they so fucking sad? You want sad high school? I was sad. I ain't going to tell y'all why I was sad because fuck y'all. But I was sad sometimes. I was high. Thank you. Uh, I was high though. I didn't learn if I knew about I actually, if I knew about weed when I was in high school. I felt like I probably would have had a better experience. I about to say I actually like all my friends that oh, smoke. Baby, I actually baby. am the one that. That's got what me. I'm saying. I feel like if I knew if I knew about that then if I was able to get to it and smoke shit, I feel like my my I it would have been a lot easier for me. But you know, but what? I remember Ralph and fucking what's his name Ralph and Vincent used to be lit in that motherfucking class and I, I was just looking at them like why y'all eyes look like that but it's crazy cause when I grew up around my auntie them they used to smoke and I used to tell her like your room smells so fucking good not knowing that she had just finished smoking a fat ass joint mm -hmm. but I love the way that marijuana smell but it was like like y'all just look like y'all having a good motherfucking time yeah right now. I was raised around that shit you feel me like I started smoking at the age of 12. But we broke Same. off. You know we broke <laughs> off from our family. Like, we, my mom and them got really heavy into the church. So we kind of like my cousins and them uh, all. Uh, that. My mama and them was lighting up before <clears throat> church. I'm sorry, mama. Oh, I don't mean to expose your secrets like that. But I'm saying. But like, no, so I really didn't have no. It was none of that, girl. It was none of that. I man, I wish sometimes like cause I baby, say, I, I think also, shit would have been a lot of would have been a lot easier for me. I would have been too high to give a fuck about any of that. That's shit. literally what it was for me. That's what I'm saying. Like you really don't, man. You don't be giving the fuck about what the fuck. Because I know, like, fuck I, that I, I, shit. I, like, okay, I went to my ten year reunion. High on the dance team, I would have been out there twerking my ass. My ten year reunion, <laughs> mind you, I was an, I was part of the Astonist Club. I was part of the Environment Club. I was a cheerleader. I was a top performing student. I went to my ten year, my ten year reunion. I talked to three people. Um, I realized as I was high through most of my high school experience that even when I was in those clubs, I was not talking to them at least. Well, shit. Yeah, like I was just like, yeah, I'm here to put this shit on my resume. If like on my college applications. Like, at the end, what, at the well, end of, of the day, day like. My mom is a lawyer, so it's not I really to meet motherfuckers. Fuck like y'all. It was like you ain't got no choice. So I'm already in AP and honors classes. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Little do y'all know, I know this shit. When I was in uh, fourth grade, I was already testing on a college level. What? When I went to college, I didn't have to go to freshman classes. I had sophomore and uh, what's called classes. I didn't have to go to orientation. None of that shit. So. School for me was literally boring. It, boring. <laughs> my, listen, like I don't think y'all understand. High, you can I, ask one of my best, because I was high all the time. I didn't have to study. You can ask one of my I'm best friends. I was one of them. Class. I was asleep so the whole entire class. The teachers like, how, hated how me. <laughs> the teachers... <laughs> The teachers would try to set me up. Like, I had one teacher give that I was sleep. They would give me a test. I always got the highest score in the whole class. Bitches right. hated me. My best friend was still talking. She's like, right. that bitch slept the whole class and still would get a higher grade on what the fuck we just learned. Or I had a, a hating ass history ass teacher. And history is my favorite subject. But that teacher, that bitch couldn't teach. Okay? Because understand I come from a long line of teachers. So I understand a good teacher and I understand I don't. So that bitch gonna teach. So I slept through all her motherfucking classes. This bitch had my parents in the back of my damn classroom. So when I woke up from my good nap, because the bell had rang, it was time to go. Turn around, see both my mama and my daddy sitting right there. 
Bitch, you slept during this whole goddamn class. We've been here since the class started. Hi. Why I ain't give a fuck. And I was smart as fuck. The whole time. It's just, I don't know. I think it also, <coughs> that's the reason why it's hard. I knew I was high. just never said nothing. My oh, mom definitely knew. I think it's. I think it's also. I don't think it's hard for me to make friends. It's easy for me to connect with people. But I will say it also. Oh, I was so smart and nah, high. I'm, I'm a little oh my god. Fuck that shit. I'm I antisocial. Did what I'm saying is, I didn't go to my prom. Neither one of them. I didn't go to my reunions. And I'm glad I'm di- I did it because I had a different experience than everybody else. Matter of fact, I graduated early. I went to open campus. Oh, specifically yeah. You talk so about it when you was rock. Yeah, so I was could sp- specifically graduate early. Like, I was sick of y'all ass. There was no point. Plus, all my life, I really, like, moved around and shit like that. I got kicked out of Monday's Mail, Jonesboro. So that's how I ended up at yeah. the school I was at. So it was like, fuck, I don't yeah. really know y'all. I'm already smoking. I'm already doing my shit. Like. Whatever. You ain't really need, yeah, you feel me? Like, I think, yeah, that kind of makes it a situation like when you already into yourself and kind of know so yourself. You kinda... people, yeah, that's what I'm saying. When, so when people be like, oh, you need friends, you need to be people at, at school, I'd be like, nah, not really because you need to learn <coughs> yourself first. If you can learn yourself first, you'll be a lot more balanced and understand. Uh, you'll be able to avoid a lot of the, the I really feel like, you know, I really feel like if not knowing yourself is kind of where a lot of new artists kind of falter, like Ari Lennox. Me and her have the exact same birthday. Me and her are exactly the same age. Sometimes I feel like I'm a little bit more livelier than her. You feel me? I feel like she don't give me the same spring chicken vibes. But, like, sometimes when she be having those breakdowns on the Internet and stuff like that, I really comes that, that comes from her not knowing herself. Same thing with Chica. Sixty years old, don't know this. But this, but, but like with Chica, like with that whole situation. That that listen, listen, I did that not, means. I did not care for. Not and, and honestly, I'm not gonna. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna try to say this without sounding so brash, so harsh about the situation. But I just I don't feel like that kind of stuff should be shared on the internet. And it's not to tell anybody like how to go about it's, getting their no, stuff out. But but guess what? The thing is, people don't know themselves, so they don't know how to spend time talking to themselves. Rather, they don't have, they don't know where to put it, so they done been sitting there for thirty minutes, and now we're. I got. I got. They don't know how to meditate. I gotta say something. They don't know how to meditate. They don't know how to journal. Grab your phone and make that fucking post. But it's like at the same time. So so then so then when you do that, you can't be so angry or dismissive or upset at the fact that people feel like no you can't be mad at people feeling like you're doing this shit for attention Facts. that's the curse of the internet and it's not to say that that's what you were doing it for that was the whole reason behind it because she brought up oh well if it was for attention then tell that to the hospital be it tell it to the punctures in my arm tell it to the this that and third and it's like but I feel like even with that extensive like explanation of it it still gives attention yeah in a way because listen I don't. I'm not saying you have to fight your ba- your battle silently, but we're not the people helping you fight through your battle. I don't. My best friend, she can call me <coughs> and tell me she's going through that, and I'm gonna make sure I go <coughs> take care of her. Call whoever I need to call to make sure they can get to her before I do. But my best friend, if if I see that bitch on the internet saying some shit like that, like I'm gonna call her like, bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you, like? Who are you doing that for? Because you can call me this best friend. This but see, that friend. that was what she said. She was like, that's the whole point. Y'all telling me to do this and third, but I don't I literally don't have anyone. And I that's why, and that's why I said when the shit happened with R Lennox and she was posting about how she don't got no fucking friends this and third to come to find out they supposed to got a little beef with some shit going on because somebody was like, Hey, R Lennox, she going through the same thing, reach out to her, y'all blah blah blah. She was like, No. She made it very clear that we're not friends, so I'm not doing that. So it's like, what kind of fucking argument did y'all done had to the point where your ass talking about you almost jumped off of the top of a building and she talking about blocking and deleting people on her motherfucking birthday? That's not giving friend vibes to me. I didn't even realize those two incidents were related. Yeah, that's and, and you wouldn't have if you didn't fucking read between the goddamn lines. I'm like, because... Would you, why wouldn't you? If a person said, said they were threatening to harm themselves, you as an artist, y'all supposed to be what one big musical ass, happy jam and pap pap blue bap ass family. Why you can't reach out to her? What is so bad in y'all, whatever the fuck ass friendship, 
that a person is threatening to harm themselves that you wouldn't reach out. Yeah, nothing. Like, um... That's like when your baby dad tell you he finna kill himself because you sick of his shit. Boy, no, you ain't. Goodbye. That's It's giving... Girl, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Like, so I don't like when people like because I don't know. Like, I with suicide is very. It's a touchy subject. It really a, is. It really I is. Had, I had a, touchy, um, a uncle die by it, way. Same, are same. Of people who play with that shit. There are same. A lot of people play with that shit but he was really whatever battling whatever some shit people, whatever they read the same way your person could probably say that was really battling some shit like my cousin was really going through some shit the one, not the one, oh some music industry bullshit I but saw, some real life shit the one comment I saw that that made me just <coughs> back out of the whole shit where I didn't even want to read no more is when people are serious about suicide they don't make posts and shit like that and I, I have somebody very close to me that committed suicide. The motherfucker didn't say nothing. Didn't leave no note, no none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying that she was doing it for attention. I'm just saying let's hope she not. And you know what I'm saying? Spread the word that don't do that shit. Don't do that. Because when you continue because to put it, shit like that on the it, internet, you, you're you literally giving somebody the blueprint on what they need to do or how they need to do it. Don't do that. It's the difference between... Um, Seeking attention, seeking, seeking attention, seeking and giving help. like and seeking giving awareness. Help. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. You're not spreading awareness. You're seeking like you feel me. And I don't. And even in the sense of seeking help, it's easier to go to Google like, and get the suicide. You're literally hotline. taking pictures. <clears throat> I'm not making it home. Find my body in St. Paul. I don't give a fuck. Like, why? Like, That's why? You don't, you don't really do all that. And I'm not saying that she wasn't serious or nothing or whatever the case. But I just can't <clears> see myself <throat> like I've been depressed. I'm not, I have not. The like, last thing you want is your phone. Yeah, you feel me? Like, I'm not going to be sitting there like, yo, take me out this shit, bro. I'm so sick of this That's shit. That's the same, the same way I feel about motherfuckers that can record themselves crying. Okay, I recorded myself crying. But, like, no. But I'm dramatic. So it's just like, they're, they're just, it doesn't make, it does not make any fucking sense. It just doesn't. And like I said, nobody's trying to dispel her or what she said she was going through. If that was indeed the case, then hopefully she does get the, the help and the, that she like needs. Her second or third time. But not only that, when people are reaching out to you and people are trying to oh, offer something. Yeah, this is like her second or third time. When people are reaching out internet. to you and trying to show you some type of affection or love or support and you still to tell the people that. You don't want to hear that shit. You don't give a fuck about what they got to say. Like, how am I, like, what, then, what am I supposed to do then? And then, like, even. <laughs> like, that, like what, am I, what am I supposed to do? If me telling you to, to talk to God about it is making you angry. If me telling you that I'm here for you is making you angry. If me telling you to pray or meditate is making That's you angry. Said, you're not looking you for a solution. Point, there's really nothing nobody can say. So you're not even going to reach out to nobody. So. You know I don't know. Like, I'm about to say like like Ti daughter um Ti daughter Deja when she had spread awareness about her cutting. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It wasn't like she like because nobody would have known that girl cut herself. Was self harming? Yeah. Shoes, you feel me? Nobody would have said she was self harming. But if she was to get on damn TikTok live and sit there and be like, I'm just so upset. People think I'm so pretty and start cutting herself on camera. You gonna be like, you're what? You seeking attention, like, or like, oh, the blood is dripping down my hands now. Right, what? just taking a picture of your arm, shit. Like when Kalani pulled her little stunt because she got found out about her cheating, and then it was the picture of her wrist in the hospital bed and all this shit. So it was like, celebrities, celebrities do pull stunts. Like the biggest stunt thus far that they say was pulled with Will Smith slapping the hell. That was not a stunt. Out of Chris Rock. And I said that, like, what the fuck would they gain out of that? And just coming from Milan's point of view, she was like, look, the, the fucking Oscars, the ratings ain't been where they need to be, this, that, and the third. It could have been. It, it could have been. Not to say that's what she actually thought. She just put it out there like that could be a ploy. Yeah, I but I just it. don't see how that would be helpful, impossible. though. But it's not BET, baby. But this is the, the good old white Oscars. Especially, like... It, it could have been missed if black people would have not have watched it. You feel me? like Right. So, I don't, like, mm, I don't think it was a stunt just because, like, the look on Jada's face and mm -hmm. the look on Will's face. And my whole thing is that, y'all, everybody's thinking that this is a reaction then, off of one thing. And it's not even just the cheating or 
the the bullshit that's going on with oh everybody think Will Smith is soft. It's not even that. He has made jokes about Jada at the last engagement about how Jada boycotting Oscars is like him boycotting Rihanna's panties. I wasn't invited. Like he has made plenty of jokes at the at the Smiths' expense. Like you get tired of that shit. Yeah, I feel like Will Ben, and that's another okay. So that's kind of my aspect on it. Like, yes, I do believe. Like, like off the rip, I do believe he smacked he smacked him. Me too. Disrespect, right? But I also you feel get like, tired of that shit. Like you said, you get tired of it. So it wasn't a one time thing or a one time incident. I do think that Will Ben had pressure with Chris Rock. I don't know what it was, what it was before, besides like that incident, like you just said. I didn't know about that. And if he did that another time before, I, you know, you feel me? Like, look, I let y'all get y'all memes off. I let y'all get y'all jokes off. But I'm sitting right here next to my wife, and my wife looks over to me because you hurt her feelings. Just the, the, you could see the drain look on her face when he said the shit yeah, because it's he, like. She was sitting there doing her little white girl pose. And then when he said she was just like, like it just said. And then here come Amanda Seals. And I'm normally a really big fan of her. Number one, I oh, love her insecure. I, sometimes I can't stand her for But and same. Her commentary. Same. So this was one of the times where I wish she had to just shut the fuck up talking about I, nobody knew about Jada having alopecia. I know I sure didn't. They don't be worried about these people's lives. Tiffany Haddish just cut all of her hair off and she doesn't have uh, autoimmune disease. Just try to stop try to stop finding stuff to fuel your um the bullshit. And it's like sis. I don't know how many times not only did this lady say it on the red table, but it was posted on the shade room. It's been posted plenty of times that the reason why she shaved her hair recently was because of the fact that she had alopecia. And not right. only that. Willow did it in support of is, it. So what are y'all talking like, about? How do y'all keep missing? I really missing? don't even feel like it wasn't even about the alopecia. I feel like it was the fact that the last time they was at, the, I mean, they weren't even at the Oscars. And you brought him up. You don't. Yeah, you and you kept Oscar, going. And you, you, they, because he did go in on that. Yeah, he did. And now we here now. Talked about Will and Smith and Wild Wild West, all that right. shit. Like no. And then talking about oh, he was laughing at first. If anybody know me, no, I got a, a really bad nervous laugh. And I like I saw, at, I laugh at everything. I feel like he laughed because. <laughs> so, I'm the moment, that's what I'm saying. And then you, like, find, then you look and see the look on your, on your. Like, they ain't never like had you feel me? Like a, I want to feel like when I'm one of people that like if I get mad real quick, like the anger just flushes me. I will laugh. I cry. I will laugh. So like I know like I how fast I will really cry. I get that from my dad. Laugh. You feel me? Like Niggas my son. Like, a lot that. of you act like you they ain't never got punked up before by somebody. Stop playing, boy. No, nah, for real. Because a lot of y'all niggas talking about y'all, it wouldn't have been me. I wouldn't have got slapped. Child, you get slapped on the daily. You are the person. Yo, bitch, punch the fuck out What you mean? Let me tell you something. Um, yo, yo, big homie, be beating the fuck. Be out beating of your the ass. fuck out your ass. You just only get to come over there because you bring the relos and shit. When your ass period, I'm just about to say this. That's the only reason why you, you get to come the over there. Skittles and the lemonade, nigga. Because you run no, to the store. Like, stop yo, playing. Bitch ass got slapped. Y'all can't that's me with that shit. Y'all got shit. somebody, somebody trap dirty right now, nigga. Um, Shut no, for real. That's another reason why I don't think it was fake though, because like. No, Chris Rock was fake, not man. professional. Like he lost all professional. He's like Will Smith just slapped shit. I out mean, me. he did the he did the best he could in the situation. And like but Will said, real, keep my Rock wife. Don't look like no nigga who gonna do nothing if a nigga slap him. I mean, nigga from New York ain't all no ain't no, all, ain't all New we York niggas crazy. Chris Rock. Huh? Huh? We huh? Talk about Chris huh? Rock. This is the same motherfucker who sat there and laughed when motherfucker was saying nigger to his face. Well, yeah, yeah. like but bro, the white he's not, he don't yeah. look like somebody who gonna do anything if a nigga walk up and slap. We been knew he was cool, me, but y'all niggas found that the quote we talking about men are the only thing that but I love about the condition that they provide know, something, and y'all ran with it. Is the fact that like y'all knew that nigga was cool, me? Please, caught, for one, when that clip came out with the white man and he was letting them niggas say nigga in front of him, y'all knew he was cool, me. Then cool. y'all niggas called him out about being a cool when he did the Oscars last time and dog right. Will and Jada for not showing for not up because they were standing for something. So you and y'all dogged him out. He was like, "Why would he do that?" Y'all was saying all this shit, but cause y'all knew what it was. But now that Will told that nigga to keep that same energy, and, and let's right? Keep it real, right? Let, let's keep it. Now real. it's a problem. I'm in the Over room now. 
up until the 2010, Stop. a nigga really would slap the shit out of somebody. Yeah. That wasn't just something I, I, I said. Nipsey did that uh, shit the year what? before he died. Fuck slap it. the fuck <laughs> out that boy. Slap, you heard it. Slap. It's more gangster. It's for a reason. Yeah. Right. It Especially when it's more than pain. It does. Woo. When that bitch open that, palm. That's, that's making a fucking statement. I'm not trying is. to beat your ass. I'm, I'm not trying to tell you to a shut the fuck up mode. and chill I'm, on what I'm, the fuck I'm, you're I'm, doing. I'm finna sun the fuck out so of you because you ain't listening. Don't you ain't listening. You open palm a dog when you train him. Listen. I'm putting you in a submissive position when I slap the shit out your ass. You feel me? No. That's exactly what it means. Hell no. So that's and that's a that's a classic. I don't feel like that man did. Them so wrong. Watch, and so I literally any movie back in the day, niggas was slapping the pimps. shit out of motherfuckers. And I literally pimps. watched a, a post. A thing, nigga, I read a post where one of the guys I went to school with, and if you whatever, I slapped a nigga. Oh today. no, but I, I, it was a joke. It was her fault. And she wrecked it. She was the reason why we'll be in the middle of this shit. And why she continue to disrespect their marriage and this, that, and the third. That nobody, nobody gave a fuck about me when I had alopecia and was talking about me. This, that, and the third. I didn't give a fuck what now, people said. I will, now, say that i will say i will say this is where one of the double standards come in where it's not okay to talk about black women and hair but when it's men niggas get clowned for that shit I definitely not if it's at, not if it's for an an, an actual nigga disease. Not telling you is alopecia. Though. That's what I'm saying. Because like, I was definitely like, just clouding in the nigga. Well, whose fault is that? Hair loss, hair, men men hair loss after 35 it's is natural. just a thing. Like you okay. You know what I'm like, so in that instance, you lost your hair. That's the same way y'all would pick at the bitch if she gained weight. That's your body. You did that. Your body doing that on its own or whatever the fuck. I mean, but no, if you no, are, no, if you have no, actual no, disease, listen, listen, listen. that's a difference. I'm not, I agree with you. I agree with you. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be talking about niggas because niggas are kings. I'm not saying that. And you you shouldn't be talking about a man with alopecia either. You shouldn't be talking about anybody that has an issue. but I thought we learned that from when Chadwick died. That's what I'm saying. Y'all talked all that shit. Oh, y'all talked about it. Thank you. So shut the fuck up. I thought y'all learned that when Beyonce told y'all I was talking about Blue. And now Blue done glowed the fuck up on all y'all bitch asses and her net worth way more than all y'all bitch Hair all down her motherfucking bag. Y'all was bag. talking about Blue in her head. Now that silky press be killing y'all like, hoes now. Y'all say what y'all want to say, but there is there is a line drawn how in many, comedy. There I is certain women, shit that you cannot how joke about. I told you that women with short hair actually is attractive as fuck? Because that you ain't got nothing to hide behind. You got just your hair, but at the same time, it's like, like I said, there is a line in the sand. As a comedian, but now you can tell whatever joke you want to tell and say whatever the fuck you want to say. But, but please know that whatever come like whatever come behind that shit comes behind that shit. Yeah, because I'm tired of y'all using the freedom of speech as an excuse for disrespect. And this and thinking you're not gonna get the shit slapped out of you. Prime example: stop fucking with folks. Everybody not joking. Everybody can't take a joke. Everybody don't think shit is funny. Like yeah, I said. I'm that nigga that can't take jokes. You feel me? Like, no, don't, don't play with me. Don't get me at the playground because I might start shooting. Don't say nothing like, to I'm me. Y'all know, Y'all know that. Y'all know that. I don't have to explain like, myself. When the, when the, when no, I don't have to explain like, myself. You know, the whole metaphor when a comedian tells Y'all a know that. They throw tomatoes. You so feel if me? It, like, if he would have threw something up there, y'all would have been mad too. Don't play with me. Yeah, y'all know I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's crazy because the same people that's on words and not that serious, you shouldn't know this and third. Y'all be the main motherfuckers come under my post or inboxing me asking me why I did that or why I said that or why I tagged that girl or why, why I point out something about her grunt. Y'all be the same ones. Right, so clearly, soft as fuck. Soft as fuck. Y'all niggas light skin out here. Oh, Jesus. Right. But the light skinned nigga walked up, man. Goddamn, cat cat cow though. Light skin. The nigga is brown. Keep okay, going. he mauve. <laughs> and, and I want to speak to the fact that this is not going to affect him financially. Thank Never. you. Please shut the not fuck up, ever. Stephen A. Smith. Yeah, yeah. Please shut up. Shut up. His accolades are not tarnished. His legacy is not done. Both He's the still going to do what the, the fuck he been doing. Fuck thank up. you. Both and Samuel L. Jackson was proud of him, so I'm proud of him. Because Samuel Period. L. Jackson is my favorite uncle. Period. Because you know, that's a real nigga You will love Ptolemy Gray then. Who's that? That's a, a new show. we show with him. As the main you would, I mean, you would love it because it's like crime and shit. You know how oh, you Oh, like, that sounds interesting. You would, no, you would love it. It's, I know, but I'm going to have to keep up with it. You're going to want to. We watched all four episodes. How many episodes is it? It's well, only know, four. It's, we, it's, it's on only right four now. right now. Oh, just started? So we done watched all of them up. The season ends on a binge? Girl, you sound like me. You in my line. I need to look at everything at one time. 
Yeah, I don't like to have questions hanging for the next week. But, but speaking of, okay. you know, performances and all that stuff. And Who performing? Blue performed. And I, when I first saw it, I'm not going to lie. Motherfuckers, oh, I'm crying. Oh, blue, this, uh, oh, I saw a steel shot. So I'm like, now I know y'all not in tears uh, for her just sitting here in front of her mama. Oh, yeah, she did a whole But no, out. she no, put she, she put it down. Yeah. They came in with the, when I, I, this the first thing you motherfucking but, learned. But we knew that. Okay. Because Blue was in them damn rehearsals with Beyonce like, ah, uh, that ain't right. No. And I told, I was like, now nah, you know that baby probably loved the six o'clock that morning practicing because mom was like, no, nah, you're not just going to be all oh, cute, B. She was out there with her mom. No, you're going to know everything. You're going to do it correctly. You're going to be on point. And she served like she should have. Yeah, so Beyonce did her happy. thing. The I thing, love I the Gorda belt. The Gorda. That she definitely got a check for that. She oh, period. Hey. That's why I said Blue's that. net worth is hey. higher than a lot of y'all bitches. Hey, baby. Blue got credits on songs. Pay. And she is pay. getting paid for her performances pay. and her appearances. She got, okay. she probably got paid two, three times. And I'm listening. Pay. She just turned nine. What do you mean? Uh, just Girl. Her nine, and her net worth is more than a, a it's shitty bitches Shitting, 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 shitting. She is shitting. credited as an artist shitting. and a backup dancer Period. and Buh, other Buh. shit. Big, Period. Big, 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 Yo, big, big, big money. Going up, okay? No, for real, like. They said shit. I'm still mad they lost the billy. Keep going. I mean, I'm, I mean, but, you know, anyway. Oh. They probably yeah, paid them going. extra for it. It's all good. No. But you know. Got to. Got to. I'm telling you, it's all, man. It's all. It's about always that. the mediocre, sad white bitches that's beating Beyonce. And I don't so, get speaking that. of sad, mediocre white bitches, I don't know if she was white, but the bitch that really tried to tell Tiffany had that she had on a costume and she read that ass for filth and went the classy ass way no, she wait, did. I didn't see that. What, what? Oh, my gosh. So, so she. Oh, okay. go, go off. All go right. off, sis. Go off, sis. So, go off, sis. Tiffany had an outfit. I had an outfit on. Beautiful gown. Nice. Beautiful. I'm not the second one. She had a nice gown on. It looked good, right? She came back to the red carpet. Beautiful, custom made, green, gorgeous gown. Dolce. And the interviewer says, Gabina. Oh, I see you did a costume change. Y'all think that was a slip of the tongue or was she? No, she was being funny. She thought that shit was going to land and it did not. What did Tiffany say, girl? It what did not. Now, this I, is not I mean, a costume. Actually, this is Dolce and Gabbana. <laughs> This is, Shit on them real this quick. This is custom this, made. Uh, this is not a costume. This is a custom made ga- gown. I bought it. I, I bought paid it. For it. Right. It's Dolce and Gabbana. Dolce and Gabbana. You you feel me? This is what you, this is what bad bitches wear. This is what you wear when you're accomplished. This is what you wear when you got money when you living. See, bitch, why you out here in this goddamn good Jimmy Choo bust down dress? Your borrowed ass dress on the seventh season. Listen, of what do you mean? Clearance rack. When you take that off, you got to put that back on somebody else's rack to put inside that little you black paid zipper a bag. You stylist deposit. Period. Girl, and bye. Asking, she no, she was trying to be funny, and it didn't go well. She can go to hell because she definitely tried it. Because she, because did she ask any fucking body else they had on the costume? A costume. Now, how many times I'll tell you, these white folk be looking like. Hunger Games and shit. Exactly. <laughs> they, the the, the real costumes. Shows, the Please stop it. Like, Please. Uh, fifth Please. Element. Fuck you. Totally Please. <laughs> like, and it the shit. Like she didn't the have shit on. that Lady Gaga wore alone <laughs> came oh, off. My God. That bitch wore hot dogs. <laughs> so so a meat suit. A whole fucking meat. That was fucking stop it. You feel so me? stop like, it. That was that was a that was a nice outfit she had on. So she was trying to be funny, but it's okay, Wale. I bet you won't never do that shit again. Had her ass up. She Listen, sure in the hell did, and she did it with a smile. Mm. Very nice, How classic nice. read. Simply one of the ones you love to hate. When she first came on the scene, I loved her. Cause motherfucker don't even realize. It took me how, how long to realize she was in one of my favorite movies ever, Janky Promoter. Yeah. Ice Cube, them. Mm-hmm. That movie came out so. She's long she's hit or miss when it comes to a comedy, she, but she, she, don't play. You, you, you hate like, to love her. You hate right. to love her. It's like she she's successful. She found her right. way. She's gonna be really she good found her place. or really bad. She really like did nothing too crazy. You feel me, like Kevin Hart. But yeah. Sometimes you just want to tell the show. Though. Yeah, because you know I mean? either yeah. it's going to be really good or it's going to be really because bad. Sometimes you annoy me. Like, she like I like. She like your old cousin. Yeah, that's like, what is that? Sometimes she plays too fucking much. Yeah, she plays too. She plays yeah. too much. That's play why too I realized sometimes. that she can't. Um, <laughs> like, it's some things I really don't want to see her in, like in the acting role. You feel me? Like, now, I yeah. will say that shit. She on after party. 
That she did, she she did, did her thing on that, that one. Did. That's another Apple TV. I Apple think TV finna has get been yeah. Life. Apple TV been putting it down. Shout out to Apple TV that, chat. No, for real. Who fuck y'all. No, for real. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> we still waiting on Evian to hit us back because y'all know that you, that's the water that still graces. We ain't got none up here right now, but it's in the refrigerator. Don't make me run over there and get something to prove it now. So hell, but yes, reach out to us. And speaking of flowing like water, our girl party. It's going platinum the whole album. Every platinum single song of Invasion of Privacy. Y'all see, I called it. I platinum. called it platinum. Now, I called it when, when I when I look. When he sounded like somebody. It, on, I, I told it. I called them number. I called it because ain't nobody been talking about this shit ever mm-hmm. since. Yep. It's gonna glaze right on over. They the have. And I say nothing. And I, the problem with that is. That's history. It is. I am it a is. music head. That's a no, big deal. Yeah, a no, she's the first. She's the first no, person to do I'm, that. I'm Not female rapper. This no, the first person in history ever out of all the motherfuckers who decided I'm gonna make a song. She is the first person. <laughs> what a way to put said, that. No, that's that's <laughs> no, what that's it is. No, I'm saying it's like what a way to put that shit. Thing, it's a lot of platinum <laughs> selling albums, right? But to have every song that's the on the album, of the whole of all the right. songs. So exactly. you could have had one song go platinum, and now you got a platinum exactly. album. Exactly. But, right. but, but no, the whole shit, song. And yeah. the shit went triple platinum as yeah. a whole. Like, no. Nah, you know what's crazy? It's a big deal, baby. I, I always feel, I, I never feel complete. Because I've never been the one to get in the middle of rap beefs. Because I'm a big fan of Jeezy and Gucci all my life. Period. Nobody can tell me so, like, same thing with Tupac and Biggie. So, same thing with me with Cardi B and Nicki. Mm-hmm. I feel like Nicki got more... At, um, like more shout outs when she like this song she just dropped with Fabio has the most charting number one hits. Why does that get more accolades? I mean, I understand the money aspect of it, but the platinum sell uh, every y'all. I still listen to Invasion of Privacy today and won't skip it. Like. I don't I only, understand. I, I don't even really like Cardi, but it's because you like y'all that. know no, that no, no, no. Nicki's name is bigger. But, but, even her but, singles but, after Nicki's name is bigger, press. and it's always no, going to be more. All I'm saying is, when I heard that fucking money. Be careful, I said she got it. Yeah, money. She got it, and you know you money. you was with me. I yeah. said it. I said it. Money. After I heard that, I said this whole album is a rap. She got it. I'm just saying, y'all know what the bigger name, y'all know what the chip is going to fall. That's money, man. That's coming from this. And I hate to be an artist. I want to be a, you know, I'm an up and coming artist, man. But I can't, I'm not going to hold my fucking tongue. So fuck that. It's that gatekeeping ass money, uh, you know, situation from back in the day. That's all that is. That's why Nicki dropped this album. We ain't going to act like cash money ain't come from the motherfuckers who, when they album drop the same day, what you do? You send everybody from the hood to run to every fucking Best Buy to go buy buy every, all the fucking albums. So now what? Oh, it's bought out in every album. It's the number one selling album in the country. Nigga, if if I got all this money, of course it ain't going to be shit for me to buy all this shit. I'm finna get all that money back. Right. Yeah. That's, right. that's what my mother said. Shit, do and back it was then. crazy thing. It's not, that's what my mother said. And it's weird to say that. So she came from that era. So you got to understand that's what's going on. It's money. It's money. I'm it saying it's weird to say it back then because it's still videos of like, you know, I remember when Drake and J. Cole did that. Yeah. And the album both dropped at the same time. <clears> they what, went to the record store and bought up at least like 30 albums each. Mm-hmm. each. I'm like, niggas. Reese was up until recently still doing that. Yeah. Shit. Do it right now. They go still going. I feel like it's only on it's not as it's not as I was gonna say it's not as broadcast now. because everything is online pretty much now with yeah. all the digital sales and shit. It's but just, that's the game plan. So you know of what? course she gonna have the number one chart in this. Yeah. I want somebody to break down to me real quick. Okay, this might I don't I I this I might need to research this. How does it work with Apple Music? Right, because I pay a monthly subscription. So how does that contribute? Like I might download it to my library and boom, I might play that's it. it right there. Because I didn't, but I didn't pay for it. Like it what if I just had the regular it like it don't matter. iTunes and I pay for the album because of your subscription. You download the album. That's all that matters. You play the shit at least once a month. It that's still paying them. Okay, it, it don't mm-hmm. fucking matter. Even if you don't download the album. If you play it, it get a certain amount of plays 
per month that contributes as part of the sale. Yeah, and I'm about to say that because you can always tell, like, when people drop new mixtapes and, like, none of their songs will start. But all of a sudden, uh, but you'll see what people, like, actually like on the album, that uh, that song becomes start. Or they put a song that was already charting or doing good, that single, and that's the one that's already start and, and, because that means the plays. Ain't no, ain't no surprise. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no none of that. Let's quit that shit. Because that, that system's so fucking old, how you upload your music anyway. Let's talk about that shit. Ain't no fucking surprise album. Can't nobody just say, oh, we're going to drop on Friday and that's just going to be it. No, it don't work It's like a whole that. process. It should say forever. You can't, you can't take, I, oh, I want to take this shit off the off the album right quick because something happened. You can't do no. that. Right. Once you upload that motherfucker, it's, it's over with. Mm. <laughs> it's over with. Plus, you can't, you doing the album, you need press and all that shit. You can't do that shit 24 hours ahead of time. That motherfucker been uploaded. Period. Right? And speaking of albums, y'all know Lotto just dropped hers, and she got her first number one big energy I'm very remix. Proud of her. I I'm am. Proud of this I outside. do not she like got- that one with Mariah Carey though. They could let her old last day off her. I don't think that was that. Mm, that album was the. I, let me tell you something. Lotto's mixtape. Oh, Lotto, man. She's the right though. She was right though. You feel me? Right, like, you feel me? Pit street. stop right next to the old guy where the new check is at. You we feel know, me? Right yeah. Right there, yeah. Right the oh, yeah. It's just like to. I her literally, I was literally have a video album. of her in my phone right now of her performing like at Chit Chat. She the only reason Lovejoy is considered the South Side now. Yeah. I'll uh-uh, it because Rich Kids been shot us out. Mm, I mean, that's cool, but we talking about the only person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Because before it was the end of the South Side. It was. You go pay one to build that. It's a rap. It's a rap. No, but no, her um, her mixtape was better than her album. I mean, because I mean, it's nice. Why you gonna get streams regardless? You feel me? That's the thing. That was. Straight up, a she great money. Move. money. I mean, great sample. Yeah, she but get money through the window. She needed something to hate that. I'm about to say that on top of that. I'm like, you you, she got playing. money off the sample already, so she was like, you know, let bitch. me bless you real quick. Right. But um, I'm proud of her for getting her first number one. I'm proud of her Hell for jumping yeah. her debut album. Like, and it's, it's, and it's, it's a, a nice it's a, it's a solid project. It I really, is. Just really like her mixtape. I don't want to say that women shouldn't talk about the trials and tribulations they go through, but Lotto, you should have waited. And let the mu- let the album be about the music instead of trying to figure out who it with was. This trailer with who, who what's the mystery of find out who <laughs> was sexually niggas harassing niggas Lotto. Niggas is really sitting there doing <laughs> like, like process of elimination. We know it's not dirt because it yeah, yeah. like, We know it wasn't Lil Wayne. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it has to be called that. But if, it, if you were going to be like, well, I ain't even going to say who it was. I, that's should, what I was, was about, about to say. If you weren't going to say who it was, I just would have left that shit you know where, where it was at because ain't no need. Because on top of that, though. talk about it. Like, let's pretend, right, real quick, that it was a lie. <laughs> Let's pretend. I mean, that like, was, what that, that would call the damn sense. I'm about to say because, like, that she's supposedly fucking 21, right? 21 is a male on her album. So, like, what if she just shot like they just twisted it in some kind of way? Like, it was a rapper who said I couldn't get a feature until I fucked them. 21 just not gave you a feature, baby. So he was like, "Well, shit, I've been fucking you. I can give you this feature." I'm just saying it could it could have gone a thousand different ways. I don't really think a nigga try her like because not only, for real. Because the only person like y'all not gonna try my boy call that like that. I know he has a sexual assault past, but like let's like let's be real. This man literally said anybody he worked with gonna have to give up the drugs. Literally everybody and none of them like actually has to really do it to he get looks the like a book. He just says it. You feel me? So y'all not gonna try my boy call that like he, that. Just try it, pimp. <laughs> he looks like a bug. He looked like he is. But the only person that really could have left was Nardo. This man Witt. said he don't have to bathe every day. That's your that's your crusty man. Hey, Who's man? You I'm could probably saying. peel leather I'm off that my motherfucker. favorite rapper. I ain't saying he my man like that. We good at Miss Super Stars. It's not his only song. <laughs> <laughs> but now we out here changing the guy. Legit fire ass rapper. Now I'm not safe for you. He motivational. I like call that more than NBA. I don't like NBA either. I mean, 
And I can't even say Kodak got a few little bops, but I can't think of one NBA YoungBoy song that I'm just like, yeah, turn that on. I I mean, not a fucking one. Really? The, the, I not a one. The man sound angry and upset. <laughs> oh my he God. sound like ain't nothing never went right for him in his life. And I got enough shit going on. I don't need nobody else's hair on top of mine. You know what? That's the why I don't listen to Rod Wave. Rod Wave make you want to drive through a house. <laughs> <laughs> that, ah, look at this shit. That nigga made me so uh, bad. boy. The only song. Oh I heard, wait, is that Bottom Boys? The only song. Ah. I heard, no wonder he depressed. Oh. The only song I like by Rod Wave is Girl of My Dreams. <laughs> I mean, I like his music, but I literally do not Girl go Girl of My Dreams? I don't go listen to his tape. She, she don't know what happened. That's why she didn't react. <laughs> uh, no, he apparently bought his whole team some, some chains that say Bottom Boys. And, every, and you know, he was so happy in the video. <laughs> Like, hey, bro, we on now type shit. You know what I'm saying? He, he go, I got chains. I this nigga put the chain on the shit, said, bottom boy. First thing I did was go to the comments. <laughs> hey, man, everybody was taking his Woo! Like, whoa. Hey, so I asked, I asked him, I was like, hey, what y'all doing with y'all necklace? Yeah, I'm he like. He said, I'm, I'm not even like, taking this shit. <laughs> I said, I'm not trying to do it. I said, so you, you, fucking, you Shut up! Wasn't like, their gang name before? I don't like, fucking know. We came from the we, bottom, boys. No, we got to change that shit. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. They don't Look, care. It is pretty gay. <laughs> 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 fucking fact. It is pretty gay. Oh my god. I can't take it. Like I was like, so what you doing with your y'all alternate bottoms? I'm lost. So what y'all? Go, so I said, so what you gonna do with your necklace? I'm not even gonna take. I'm like, so you not gonna melt it down? And, I'm gonna pawn that bitch for real. what I'm saying? Like I'm you can take give it me, and get the money that. for it. Because you are gonna say I pawned the chain? Say no. I don't that, want, this not I don't, mine. I don't want my name attached no shit like. Oh that. my god, I'm not. Because you do gotta give your license up to pawn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> well. Speaking of boyfriends, oh, God, Rico Nasty God. and her boyfriend. Oh, yeah. he said he he said he, he said, said he picked her ass up and put her outside the room because she was fo- nah, following him around nah, acting crazy. No, I'm not digging in my ass. My lower back is killing me right now. I'm Trisha. just saying. Same thing. I, 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 don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. She said he put his hands on she her. She dramatic. And it's the first time a man that ever put their hands on her. And so why? She, she, uh, she, no, not so her. So how do you call her No, I'm saying she one of them now. I, I'm about to say, I guess I'm one of them now. And, but how do you call somebody So what that mean? It's the first time she did. What you mean one of them? But. She was like, now, basically, that just means that Rick Nasty used to talk bad about domestic violence victims. Said, Goddamn, it's what it's given. Like, what you mean, one of them? You done hit me. Motherfucker, I had not hit you. Well, you know what I'm saying? Y'all be tripping. Like, y'all bitches ain't gonna got punched for real yet. Okay. That's why y'all act like that. You know, like when you, you find said, a nigga that really knock you out of my property and. Yeah, and see, she does kind of give off the energy. Like, Dramatic. she'd be one of them hoes that fall into that the wall and swear that you beat the fuck out of them. She's one of them bitches that he perfectly described when he said, you follow me around, yelling at me, cussing at me. He's like, bro, I don't want to do this shit. Fuck you, nigga. You always in Loud my mother's phone. Loud arms and shit. You always in my motherfucking phone, but Lie I can't you. get your phone, nigga. <laughs> I'm no, all angry. He, look, but he that's wrote, what that, and no, that's he what wrote it was been about. there before. We got you away from that bitch. Y'all been together for six years and y'all still it's arguing right. about your phone. Fuck her. You with us now, nigga. Yeah, she terrible. She look terrible. Why are you still arguing about phones after six years of relationship? No, I'm saying because we, didn't we just talk about that shit the other day? I mean, I've literally watched niggas tense up at the thought of their girl picking up their phone, and I don't seen girls like, I mean. About that goddamn shit. phone. Your, what are you doing in that phone? If you can't have your phone and, and got the code, I can throw my girl both my phones right now. Right my now. Watch. <laughs> Insane. Because how, how the fuck, how, the, how in the fuck Literally. can you put me down as your emergency contact <laughs> But I don't have something access. happened to me, but I don't have access to your phone? So let's say something happened out to you in the world. I can't check your phone to see what the hell what, happened, to happened to you. What's going to happen to you where you could possibly Y'all be at? crazy. 
You out there starving, dying, eating grass and leaves and shit because you don't want a nigga in your phone. you rather die than this nigga find out where you at through that damn phone. It's niggas who are actually like, but who would sit there and be on the phone with that girl and she be like, oh, what you doing? Something. Like, huh? Huh? <laughs> I suck him and lock him, lick him and fuck him, then I duck him. That's what she didn't know. That's like a bottom boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The one the one who do the fly boy keno. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, y'all doing all that over the phone. Y'all ain't You gonna wear that damn yeah. necklace. Put it on. BB. Over a phone. Bubba. 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 A phone. You ain't bro. gonna put that necklace on for real. Over a phone. No, you're not putting that. You're not gonna. Me- you can melt the shit down, fam. Not on that I, necklace, I could also buy my own shit that say what I wanted to say. And what you, know, you and then or you can. <laughs> you know, we got a cute necklace. DDG got Hallie a real cute necklace for her birthday. She did get a cute little necklace. They I are so they cute together. Cute they do. I, I like really them. Like Ruby was too hood. Now I will say, like, I, I know. Yeah, DDG Ruby was a lot. I know DDG hood. But I feel like he no. one of the niggas Sometimes it's possible. I what my homeboy is a testament. Sometimes your girl can be a little too hood for you. Like yeah, she can like, be more. Like some hood niggas need a softer girl. They yeah, no, them. you don't, they don't need their buddies. Y'all powers they, combined and make a big they don't super need a bottom boy. You feel me? Like they need somebody soft. Okay, and I feel like Hallie is a cute little mermaid for DDG. I like how he shared all those pictures. I like how they're saying, I love you already. That's so cute. Oh, Lord. I didn't know that. vacations going on. So, yeah, uh, I had my reservations about Ghana and um and and uh Bernice. I really still. <laughs> what's, the, what's her name? Don't disrespect Chloe like that. Sorry, I forgot. I get a. So, I get a feeling for beautiful, talented black women. I don't know where Bernice came from, bitch. She just all the, she's just naturally <coughs> mean as fuck. <coughs> no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Sometimes she be giving Bernie. But you really think Gunna and Chloe together for real? Girl, bye. You haven't seen them. I haven't seen them since. Her and then. First Lady been out too many times. That was in February. I haven't seen them out since then. Bro. They it's learned their lesson. It's April. They that learned their lesson. No, I just think that was a, a celebrity. And like now a publicity stunt for the video. But damn, the video came way after they done went to the to the damn to the to the to the hitty for a Five years later. So, so what y'all gonna be promoing all that time until it come out? That's that's why we got shut up, Jeremy. I'm gonna okay, get y'all some industry tea. Talking about Lori and Michael B. Jordan. No, but they said that they will sleep in the separate beds too. But no, I think they hold hands. I think they make love. They be cute. They be uh, they be kissing on the down. Tell um, whoever that is. It's after hours, and I do cut up about my bitches. This is fucking Juanita. That's my best friend. If you don't know who that is, that bitch is called Nita Beater. She lives up to her fucking name. And that's what she's telling me now. Bitch, I'm trying to beat somebody. I can't wait to answer this phone. See, this like... It don't be. I'm really. Just we like, be and we be needing y'all to be like, yes, beat that bitch, but you're like, no, nah, take the high wrong, be a good person. I'm We're trying to live right. All of it. Fuck I'm a, oh, that. I'ma have your back, but I'ma tell you like, girl, it was not worth it. I can you you the situation that I told you about. I could give. I owe a bitch an ass whooping on 12, 22 to be exact. You do, and if you have one more bitch um try to talk to me on the phone, I'ma fight you. Thank you so much for joining us on today's episode of Nerd the Bullshit. It was so fun seeing y'all. We drop on Wednesdays and Fridays, and we do look forward to Wednesdays and Fridays because that's when we drop. Have a great day.